Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. And some iced tea. And Wellington. He's been loving today. He's been wanting to lay on me, but I've been trying to get housework done. I'm going to tell you, there's nothing like the smell of pine saw to make me feel like my house is clean. And I'm kind of wondering if I should just put a bowl of it out and skip the cleaning part. I kill me. All right, Dollar Tree haul. I'm um, running into an issue again where I've kind of shown you all the new stuff and they brought a lot of stuff back from last year. But I did find some, some things to share. So the first thing I found was this pumpkin here. I love the holes in it. it to me, it feels very boho. Now, I saw larger ones similar at Hobby Lobby. So if you got like the small ones at Dollar Tree, you could accent them with larger ones. But I like this. There's, it's, uh, I guess the bottom is open if you wanted to stick like a string light or like a tea light or something in here and you could light it from the inside, but I don't think you'd want to like a candle or anything. Cause you know me and my taking the labels off of everything. Oh, this is hysterical. This is a magnetic pickup tool. No, I'm not doing car work, but my, I dropped my cross stitch needle again and I can't find it. It's not, they're not sharp sewing needles, they're blunt tipped, but it would still hurt if you stepped on it or if one of the cats got a hold of it. So my plan is to take this magnetic lip tip and run it across the floor and under the furniture and see if I can find that needle. I know, right? Oh, Wellington's playing with the little tie. Here you go, buddy. He likes those. So that's my goofy use for this magnetic tipped tool finder. But if you're a crafter or doing sewing with straight needles, you'll this is handy. You drop things on the floor and you get it in your carpet, you can just, I mean, it, it does a good job. That is, plastic coated metal twist tie and it picked it up. Sorry, baby. So I got the magnetic pickup tool. Hopefully it works. Oh, for the boys, I found these. Now they don't, they don't wear a collar. Both of them are indoor cats. They don't wear a collar, but what I can do is take a piece of ribbon and Velcro on either end. And then this can this is for a dog collar, so there's elastic here, but I'll make them like uh, a ribbon collar and they can wear bow ties. Guys, I know. They had all different prints, but typically around the holidays, I like to put a little bow tie on them and you know, I don't know. So I got them matching, cause you know, they have to match. And Luna Dog has a dress, this black and white buffalo check. She's got a Christmas dress that color. So she'll match them too. It happens. We're that. Pe we are those people. Um, I found these little Curad Band-Aid packs, and they are TSA compliant. It's ideal for travel, water-resistant pouch. So the top zips off, and then it zips back on. It comes with two alcohol swabs, and then a bunch of Band-Aids. And they're good brand, and that means you know to me this means they'll stick. If I'm traveling somewhere or you know, I'm out and about and I get a cut or a blister. I want to be into this going to stick. So I grabbed two packs to throw in my travel bucket for whenever someday I get to travel. I'm losing faith in that happening, but you know, what are we going to do? Um, I got a hundred percent acetone nail polish remover. These nails I've been wearing doing lately are gel. So you need acetone and they they soak in acetone. The Dollar Tree sells, and I ha can't find them, these rubber fingertips. So you put a cotton ball with acetone, you put that rubber fingertip over it, and it holds in the moisture. I need to find those. If anybody sees them and wants to send them to me, I'll pay you for them. I just can't find them. Something to um, hold the aluminum foil on. But I needed some 100% acetone, and they had it. So I said, I'll get that. Um, some other boring stuff for crafting, just some sandpaper. These blocks are great. And then these packs here come with 36 all different grit sandpaper, which is great to have. And I was running low. Nothing exciting, but when I saw it, I was like, oh, I better grab that because I have some crafts coming up. 
and I use these for all different projects and they're they're small enough for that um okay oh I found some Mickey Mouse markers so I think these are gonna be good no am I gonna have fun with them sure for my planner you know a planner gal unless I got two of them I don't think I did no I just got one of that but yeah some markers just for some fun times I am trying to bring some stuff over here it's all behind me oh look at this this is crafter square tear off palette so it's a paint palette you put your paint on here when you're doing your crafts and then when you're done you can just tear off that sheet and it comes with 15 sheets should we see what i'm wondering if it's like a wax paper or a parchment or if it's like writing paper that'll I, and, and my only question is is the paint is the paint gonna seep through and ruin all 15 sheets at one time because that wouldn't be fun but we're gonna find out here i'll put that in here so the and it just looks like this so you would hold it yeah it's like a waxed paper if I had to say, I would say it's exactly wax paper. It's waxy on this side, not on the sec on the back side. But yeah, your it's protected, so your acrylic paint is not going to bleed through, which is great because I do a lot of painting, and this is fantastic. I can just lay it down, put on my different colors, do what I want, and then it's such an easy cleanup. You know, you just throw that page away. And this would be great with for little people, especially like at a Christmas present or something, if you were gonna get them some paints, watercolors or acrylic or tempera or whatever, or you have somebody in your life that likes to paint, this would be kind of fun. For a dollar, it's a nice accent to a gift. I don't have a ton of stuff here if I didn't mention that, but there's a fair amount. I grabbed two of these blank canvases. These are eight and a half by 11 or eight by 10. I was looking for the 11 by 14, but I don't think the Dollar Tree sells them with the wood stretched canvas. I think they only sell the hard ones, but these are great to make signs. Um, I love cutting the canvas off, staining the wood, and then you can reattach the canvas or use a hard canvas behind it to make signs. So these are fun. I always like having a couple hanging around the house um oh let's see do i have office stuff i do i found these stickers and my little cousin plays volleyball so i thought that was appropriate for her she can throw it on a notebook or whatever or nothing because she's in high school now so i don't know what they do but i grabbed one they had volleyball cheerleading soccer baseball football and they're kind of sparkly and they're fun so I grabbed that for my cousin. Um, I picked up three packs of these pens. Two are from my giveaway, which that video would have been out yesterday. Um, I'm filming them both today. But these pens are fantastic and I love the fall colors. You get a green, a brown, a gold, and an orange and they write well. They're a nice gel pen. They're a green briar, so they should be in all the Dollar Trees, but I love these for fall. I love these. I love the fall colors. I use them in my fall planning. And yeah, so I grabbed some to share. So I have that. And then I found, and they were literally just one pack on the shelf of the Halloween stickers. And again, some are pop-ups and some are flat. I prefer the flat for my planner, but the pop-up ones for cards and stuff. So those are adorable. Oh, sorry. But yeah, these are the only ones I happen to have seen of the Halloween variety. I'm trying to make everything organized here because, you know, I make a mess when I do these hauls. Just in case you didn't know that, I'm here to tell you I make quite the mess. I also have some stuff from other stores I want to show you, but they have these plastic wine glasses this one says autumn leaves and pumpkin please and sarah and i like wine and in the winter time i like a mold wine so these will be perfect for that and this one says happy fall and i think they had another one but i don't remember what that one said so i just grabbed there too they're plastic 
in my world these will last through fall through hollow or thanksgiving and then i'll just throw them away i don't feel like they last that much longer than that if you use them on the regular right right boring stuff we got more boring stuff i got some medicated berry bliss text i like this for winter my all-time favorite is peppermint um chapstick but in the winter, if I get chapped or get like a sore or whatever, I like to have some Blistex around the house and I don't have any currently. And this is just a berry scent. So I keep this with my medicine cabinet and then I don't get cold sores, but my lips crack. And I feel like sometimes this does a better job for the cracking than the chapstick does. Just what I have found. Grab some cupcake liners. I use these for duh cupcakes, but also like packing my lunch. These are nice little dividers to keep like nuts in or anything like that. And you get 90 in here. They're not the best quality, but they'll work for my, what I would like to use them for, which mostly I'll take like two together and then I'll put like nuts or something in my lunch if I'm packing a lunch. And I was out of those as well. Now they have their Halloween socks out and all different sizes so i grabbed the sugar skulls with the teal and these came in 10 size 10 to 13. the orange i think it was orange or pink i think it's pink were 9 to 11. and then the other socks were 5 to 9. so i thought that was fantastic i do like and i've said before i like to get them a little bigger um just because i feel like they they don't stretch as well. I don't like my socks super tight, but a man could wear this too. This could be a man's sock. It doesn't say it's men's. It just says crew sock made in China, but I love the teal at the top and the teal on the heel and the sugar skulls. And I think they're adorable. Right? Right. Cause do I need more socks? It's like notebooks. I can't help myself guys um all right what did i find oh and then just some generic crafty bits i grabbed two more of these ropes i'm not sure what that would used for but they had in the same bin the 11 foot and then the hip thicker six foot and i feel like there's one in between that's nine foot but that's how you can tell so i like to get the 11 foot long because it's thinner and it's longer and it's just a uh, nautical rope but you know, you can do a million things with this rope and it's always handy to have in stock. And I am also running out of the white. I have all the brown, but I didn't have a lot of the white. So I just pick it up when I see it here and there. I typically will use it and then move on. Oh, look at these stickers. How fun is that? I'm not sure, they just remind me of like the 70s. Now I believe these are all stuck together, but can be separated. And they're like, I don't know, they have like the little shine to them. And you get uh, five strips. But my, if I use them or when I use them, I'll cut the little them apart and get individual so I can place them where I want. But they have a lot of this like fun stickery stuff. And I enjoy having that around for planning, card doing, things of that nature. Okay. Eh, uh, what else I got? Oh. I grabbed some decorative shred. Now it was going to be between this and moss. And I think this is going to be less messy than the moss for a project I have coming up. I don't know if you've seen the dollar or the dollar spot gumball machines. Um, I'm going to be decorating them in here in a minute. I'll show you what I got to put in the gumball portion, but it's hollow at the bottom. So I want to fill it with some of this just so I don't have to fill the whole thing, which you won't see what's on the bottom. So I just grabbed the natural, because to me this looks, it looks like hay or straw or moss without quite the mess. So I grabbed that color for that. Oh, for my tiered tray come Halloween, this guy's gonna go in there. Should I change his bow tie? <laughs> but you know. What am I? Is his, uh, oh, his both eyes are green. I was like, does he only have one green eye? So yeah, they had these. They had the sugar skulls. They had ghosts, and they rock. But I'm just gonna sit them probably flat in the tear tray because he's a black cat. I got some more harvest words. 
I uh, just picked up one more package of them. So now I have three packages. So that should get me through Halloween's giving, right? Um, but I would grab them when you see them because they, they tend to go fast. So I went to a store. I was driving to the next to my cousin's house and they live near another town away about a half an hour from me and while I was taking a road I don't normally take to their house I found a new Dollar Tree and I was like where'd this one come from I didn't even know it was there and it's huge and I went out there today and found a lot of this stuff um, but my stores locally that I go to they're stocking and wiping out the shelves before I even get there between days that I go every couple of days so if you see something, grab it because chances are it will not be there later that day or even the next day. So I found one more pack of the letter or the words and I'm like, well, you know, I don't need these just for autumn and fall. Although some of them say autumn and fall, but there's like farm fresh and blessings and stuff like that. So I grabbed an extra pack of those just to have in my stash. Now here's some other stuff. <laughs> Oh, this is, um, so the store that I went to has all of the Hallmark bags and the Voila bags. And this one I love. It's a double decker bus and it just says, sweet new baby. I need one to put the baby blanket in that I made. So I needed a pretty large and look at the size. Oh, I love it. And then the back. Yeah, so it's adorable. Um, my stores, and I think it has something to do with there's a Hallmark nearby, don't have a lot of these bigger bags with the print and stuff on them. They just have the small solid color ones. So yeah, I grabbed that for funsies. And then I found, oh, look what I found, the soap. They had this one and a black skull, but I wanted the ghost. I'll put it in my bathroom down here for Halloween. And it smells like summer. It's coconut lime. Is that weird that they had a Halloween soap that smells like summer? I mean, it's fine, but weird. So yeah, I got this one and it holds eight ounces, which is a fair amount. I wanted to find a black cat, but I didn't see one. So that's okay. That'll go in my downstairs bathroom. Um, I found the hands that have the eye in the middle. I feel, I'm not sure what they're called. There's a name for them, I'm sure. But let me tell you, the detail on these are pretty amazing. And this is a black or navy blue I'm not really sure what color it is it on the back side it looks like it's black but it also looks like it's navy now fun fact I was at big lots today and they have these exact same hands full size I don't remember how much they were but I was like hey I just got the little ones of that so I grabbed two because I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them but they were with the Halloween stuff and I thought they were pretty cool looking so I grabbed them it almost looks like henna on here, but I don't feel like that is what that's supposed to represent. But I'm not really sure. I'd have to research it. But I grabbed two because that's what they had, one in each color, which I thought was fun. All right. A couple more Dollar Tree things, and then I can show you some other items that I picked up. Oh, I found these, and I'm not really doing farmhouse right now, but I liked these, and I liked the metal detail, and I wanted to show them to you. But this one says, oh my gourds, I love fall. And this one says, I love fall most of all. And there was one more, but I only grabbed two. But I like the metal detail and to make it almost look like a mason jar. And you know, you can flip them over, paint them, sand them, do all the things. But I just thought these were fun, perfect for tear trays. Or just to sit up somewhere in your mantle, on the shelf, on the bookcase so I grabbed these should I do my my wait I have a better thing to show you but just in case we grab those oh I grabbed some of this African black soap clarifying wipes I've heard a lot of good things about this soap so I grabbed the clarifying wipes these are with tea tree oil and calendula um, they're good for blemishes removes makeup and dirt without rinsing or drying and there's 10 face wipes in here. I love face wipes. 
So I grabbed these. I've heard good things. So that just for personal use. Sorry. All right. Now I found the ornaments. I'm not going to put up a Halloween tree. However, I want to do black and red this year, I think for Christmas. I'm going to bring some more black in with my red. So I grabbed these ornaments in case they don't have them out at Christmas time that I can make like a garland or put them on a tray or some kind of decor. So I grab one pack of black and then when Christmas comes out, I'm pretty sure they usually have red. So then I will have my black and red. So yeah, I just grabbed these. I'm not gonna use them now, but I'll put them with my Christmas crafty stuff. Ouch. Oh, and I found these. It's a jumbo on the go color forms. It opens up, look at that. It's three pages with all the reusable, restickable. Uh, my friend, my niece's friend Kristen has a little niece that will love this. And they had um, Toy Story 2, Frozen 2, and I think they had a couple others, but this is just a little bigger. And it has a little handle. So guys, Thanksgiving, you're traveling, going to see family, you got little ones or grandkids. This is perfect for the car. Or if you have people coming to you to visit, these are great to have on hand. And for $1 and it's name brand stuff, I think that's perfect. That'll go in my little gift bag that I'm going to mail to little Abby. I know, right? Okay, I found some hot pad holders. I love to put these just near my coffee maker. I don't use these for real hot pads because you get burnt. But I loved that. I also like to put them on my coffee table and use them or on my end table for a coaster for my coffee cups because I spill and you get two. So this is for Halloween for sure. And it says happy haunting and I love it. And I love the moon in the background. And then they had, now this is what I found at my store this morning. And I think I might've squealed out loud, but I'm not sure the fall gnomes guys, this will definitely next month sit on my end table with my coffee cup. But don't be, don't worry. They also had these weird towels that have the icky effect texture to them, but we all just use them for decor. They also had that. I know, aren't they adorable? I just love them so, oh, I don't like touching the microfiber. It, it's gross, but that is adorable. I only get one of these. I'll probably just lay it out or put it down under my coffee maker on top of a drying rack or drying cloth. Cause I, you know, I do that, but I love this for fall. This will probably be out in September. Although I do have my fall decor out in here because I wanted to be able to show you all. Now, I don't know if you're ready for this. So sit down. What the heck? Like what? Let's get that out of the way. Guys, it's one side. It's double sided. What? Welcome and trick or treat. What? Did I mention there's no glitter? No glitter. I love this. I actually got two, one for me and one for Sarah. Um, Sarah's my niece, if I don't mention that. And she needed one as well. So I, I always ask her first because I'm like not trying to fill her house with Dollar Tree stuff. But I'll send her a picture and I'm like, hey, do you need one of these too? And she said, um, yes, I do. And I said, of course you do. Of course you do. I love it. And I know this is 100% new. I've never seen anything coffin shaped, at least signs at my Dollar Tree. I will preface that. So that is everything I got at the Dollar Tree. Now, I went to Hobby Lobby because I heard about their 90% um, off clearance of their spring stuff. So, the first thing I bought was not 90% off, it was 40, but these are like faux leather pumpkins. These are gonna be what I'm filling up the gumball machine with and putting it in my kitchen. Are these little fake leather pumpkins because they really go with my scheme with my color decor. These were $8.99 and I got them for 40% off. So it was like $7, $6 with tax or something. But so I grabbed these and you get 12 little mini squishy pumpkins. 
They also had them in like a velour and they were less expensive, but they didn't have the color I wanted. So I went with those. So that was full price, but I found, now, you know, I'm obsessed with this purple color for fall, right? Look at this vase. It is so heavy. It looks brown from here, but it is purple. It was $29.99 regularly. I got it for $2.99 and it is heavy glass. I'm gonna put it up in my dining room and I'm gonna get some sticks, just some long sticks and stick in here, I think. Um, so yeah, oh, here's the price tag. If you can see it or if it's focusing, I'm not sure if it's gonna focus. But this was two dollars, oh, geez, it's heavy. But it, it, it was part of the clearance and here's the price, $29.99. Mark down, mark down, mark down. And I brought it home. I love it. It needs to go through the dishwasher. Everything glass has this weird texture stuff on it. So I'll get this price tag off the side. You know, I'm obsessed with that, right? These damn stickers. And run it through my dishwasher. And then I will get it ready to go out. So I grabbed that. Then I went to... Oh, and for my gumball machine, I have this ribbon from the that $5 Michaels box I got. I'm going to use it in tie a bow or something or just drape it around somehow to bring some color to kind of brighten up the leather a little bit but then I had that now I think I showed you these the last time these are three risers and I use them to put things on to make them taller and they're they're graduated so this one there's a medium and a small and i decided that i wanted a second set so maybe at christmas time i'll put the big one in the middle and then the two medium and then the two small and kind of go up and down i really like that look i don't use these just for fall which is when they're coming out i use these year round these will go on my shelf in the garage which i'm cleaning these will go on my just general decor. I have risers out there, candlesticks, stuff like that, that I bring in and out depending. But these were $5 for three and it's a, that is a fantastic deal, especially if you're trying to bring height to any kind of a decor scene that you're setting. These are great. They had them in black and neutral and for $5, that was great. And the other thing I got was one of these and they're calling them blanket shawls, but I will tell you every year I get a couple and I use them for tablecloths and like table skirts, table scarves. Like I can use it on this table behind me, on my dining room table. These are great to underneath to decorate. Now these are pretty thin. I may wear it. I, honestly, all of my scarves like this are hanging in my hall closet. And then I, I go in there and I'm like, am I wearing it this year or am I decorating with it? It's interchangeable. But I like this. I don't want to open it right now, but it's this one is nice. It's pretty thin. So it's not going to be overly hot if you decide to wear it, you know, as a shawl. But it was $5 and that's a perfect price too for tablecloths. I always try to think outside the box. Right now I have from last season or the season before, it's an orange, black, and gray plaid scarf. And it fills, it fills my whole table. It's that big and they were $7, I think. I'm not getting a tablecloth for $7 or a table runner. I have that one. And now I have that. So this will just go with my, I'll undo it and hang it up to get the wrinkles out and then I'll put it in my closet. So that I'm pretty sure is everything that I purchased this week at the Dollar Tree. I hope you guys find some fun stuff too. And if you do, let me know below. Tell me please if you found any more gnome stuff because I've only seen, this is it for the gnome stuff that I have seen. Oh, and the stickers. But I didn't see any like actual gnomes out. I just saw this. I'm not so much into the red truck at this point, but I am liking the gnome still. And I have my gnome sitting over here that somebody sent me, you know who you are. And it's on my end table beside me. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a fantastic day and I will talk with y'all later.